After 13 years without a permanent home, employees are moving into the new city hall in Eugene. KEZI, Nine News reporter Jennifer Singh just finished up with a tour of the old eWeb headquarters building and joins us live with a sneak peek at the changes inside. Jennifer? Yeah, Matt, it's been a long time coming for employees, and they're excited to move into their new City Hall building here on East 4th Avenue. Two departments have already moved in, I'm told, as of just today, and many more are expected to follow, including City Council and Mayor's Office. Now, there's still a lot more work to be done, but I did get a look inside of the new City Council chambers, as well as the public lobby area. Now, this building that was home to the Eugene Water and Electric Board has sat dormant, like you said, Matt, for more than a decade. When it was finally bought last June, it was bought with one-time funds dedicated to transform the space into a city hall. Jeff Perry with the city of Eugene says that with the $8 million budget they had to renovate the building, they were able to improve accessibility for people with disabilities, improve security, improve technology, and make sure the building was up to seismic standards to make sure the building was ready for everyone, employees and the public. It really um, allows for, n number one, all of the departments to work in one space. And so we've been spread out across uh, downtown and the city for many years. And so um, there's a definite you know, synergy, if you will, of having all of those uh, divisions in one location. So we're excited about that. Um, the facility itself provides really great access for the public and this space as well. And so we're, we're happy about that. Monday's city council meeting was virtual, and the public hearing on Monday will also be held virtually because of construction. But the first public meeting that will be held in the new chambers is set for June 24th. In addition, eWeb still has a space here for customers who need to conduct business in person. Now, the building will not fully open to the public until all of the departments have officially moved in. And that grand opening date has yet to be officially announced until I'm told closer to the actual day. Reporting live in Eugene, Jennifer Singh, KEZI 9 News.